How's it going everybody? My name is MDKWLAN, otherwise known as MDK, and today we're back in Arch Linux again, and we have another request video from YouTube user Wesley Pinock. Pinock? Sorry if I mispronounced your last name. But uh, he requested that, well, he actually requested two things. He requested uh, an install guide for GNOME, for Arch Linux, and he also requested that I did it, do a Arch install video on an actual machine. Now, I have no problem doing number two. Uh, the problem that arises is that I do not own a camera myself, and I don't currently have a machine I can install Arch on. I can reformat my hard drive on my laptop, but currently being used as a x86 router. So, once I come across another machine that is possible to install Arch on and I find a camera that I can use I will definitely definitely do that video but the first part I can do and that's what this video is so we're going to install GNOME 3 on Arch Linux alright so this is pretty simple as far as desktop environments go uh, GNOME itself has its own display manager so you, it's not like you have to do anything special like uh, you had to do with XFCE but GNOME itself is just a Pac-Man attack capital S GNOME and people do ask is it GNOME or is it GNOME uh, the actual people that develop GNOME or GNOME s say GNOME so I and I also believe it's an acronym so you would actually say the G but you agree to all this stuff and install it. I've already gone through the process. As you can see, it is a 200 megabyte file. That's why I've already downloaded it. Uh, you can also install the utility stuff that comes with a GNOME, like um, the not themes like just calculators and different. Uh, I don't even. So to enable GNOME to launch on startup, we it's the same command as before. So it's system control enable gdm service sets up the sim link and we reboot now i think this is actually a problem with virtualbox uh... it's because of the three seven kernel i don't think the virtualbox guest editions have been updated yet or i never installed them properly but i'm that error message that you see there that's one of the errors that you get. So, what you're going to see here is it's going to show GDM, but it's going to be incredibly small and you'll see bars. Oh no, it actually resized itself. Yeah, because when I was doing this before testing to make sure I did it correctly, uh, GDM didn't launch properly. It was small and stuck with bars, and I fixed it just by going into full screen mode. But, apart from the lag that Fraps is generating, this is fairly fine and because we don't actually have a sign on yet we only have a root account it's not going to be listed so you have to click on not listed unless you have an actual account that you made with add user but um, click not listed and go to root type in your password and you have gnome 3 for your arch install once the desktop fully loads so yeah here's gnome 3 um, you don't have anything yet. I mean, you still have to download stuff. But terminal. So, yeah. I don't know. I guess we can see how much this uses. Yeah, it's lagging quite a bit. That's fraps. That's just the nature of fraps. So... There's GNOME 3 install, essentially. I just want to see how this actually runs. Huh. It runs a little bit heavier than, I believe, XF yeah, XFCE was the one I did. Uh, it runs a little bit heavier than XFCE, but that's to be expected. It's GNOME 3. Huh. That's interesting. So, that's how you install GNOME 3 to Arch Linux. Uh, you have any more uh, idea suggestions for videos, please let me know. Either message me or throw them down in a comment. I'll be more than happy and able to do them. I do have uh, classes all this week, so if I am not able to answer your questions or 
uh, push your videos out right away. I do apologize, but classes and uh, responsibilities that I have have to take priority over YouTube stuff. So, thank you for watching, guys. Um,